Hi, and welcome to the Migrant Education Summer Program. I'm Ms. Gomez, and I'm going to be talking about um, the Artist of the Week brochure that I'm going to ask you to complete each week as part of the Arts and Humanities Camp. We actually have four artists. We have Frida Kahlo in week one, Pablo Picasso in week two, Salvador Dali in week three, and Andy Warhol in week four. On each one of the videos that I have uploaded, um, you will be able to record the interesting facts about each artist. And the majority of this information and the majority of this information comes from the videos. Um, once we get to some of the question or language stems right here, um, I'm going to sh show you what you can put down for the different art movements. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the second sheet of paper. And for each one of the brochures, you're going to have to name a title of a famous work of art by each artist. You can always find that piece of artwork right here on the last page. So each one of the brochures is the same format. It just features different artists. So I wanted to go ahead and also talk about um, when it says describe the artwork and what you think of it. You can use your language stems, which are called responding to art, describing art, and expressing opinions in order to complete that blank. So you want to say, I learned about, I liked, I noticed. And so when it says I noticed, you want to think, what do you see in the artwork? Is it animals? Is it objects? Is it a self-portrait? Um, I didn't like. What did you not like about the artist's work? So maybe you did not like the colors, you didn't like the style, the format, or maybe even the subject. The thing I liked most was, so what was the thing you liked most um, about the artwork? And this one talks about theme. So when I was talking about theme on the first page, you're going to use this one in order to talk about the different art movements or um themes. Also, when you talk about art movements, you can also use this one at the bottom that says, um, he or she created portraits of her reality, pop art, cubism, and surrealism. And for art movements, you can talk about making ordinary things extraordinary with shape and color, family, and math and art. So these two that are on your sheet, you can use these in order to complete the question about art movements. And you want to think of these as a multiple choice bank. Each one of these that are listed um, is going to be um, on the brochure to describe each one of the artist's movements um, in art. This artist's work reminds me of a book a movie, a news or world event, or a personal experience. These are text connections, and good readers and good writers always make text connections about the things that they see, um, and one of those um, subjects is art. He or she experimented with, here we have, the human condition, colors, shapes, mass production, math, and perspective. So for these, when we talk about um, what I think about the particular artist, you can use these here. Describe the artwork, you can use both of these here. Um, the all of these language stems. In the last bro in the last part of the brochure, we're going to be using questions to ask the artist. If you could if you can pretend to be the artist and answer your own question that you have put in the blank, um, that is a more advanced skill, but it's not required. And additionally, any of the blanks that you would prefer to answer yourself in a different way, um, that is also fine. It's just that here, this is the vocabulary in the language of arts and humanities, and that's kind of what we want to focus on. So back to um, one question that I would like to ask her. So this is a uniform question in all of the brochures. So here are some of the questions using the art vocabulary and responding to art vocabulary um, that you might want to ask. Explain why you created your art. Why did you choose this medium 
medium is style or mode or type of art, and the same of genre. In most of the um, mediums, it is photography. Um, it can also be um, mass production or portraits. Did society or society, culture, or history inspire your art? Where did you find this idea? How did you problem solve in art? And all of these are objectives of the arts and humanities curriculum. What is the purpose of your artwork? Did your community inspire your art? What inspired your artwork? What do you want people to notice? And how did you make this? So all of these questions, um, we are going to pick one and then um, we are going to write it here. And then additionally, if you can answer the question as if you were the artist of the week, um, that would be great, but it is not required. And that is also making a, a text connection, putting yourself in the artist's shoes. Um, and as I said before, each one of the videos with the artistic craft can be found um, in the folder labeled 6th through 8th grade. And um, so there are two projects per week. This is the first one, and you're going to use language objectives to use the vocabulary and question stems to talk about art. And then in the second activity, you are going to create the art in the style of each one of the artists um, that I have chosen for the week. Um, have a great summer.